going guys back with another video here in this video we're going to be talking about uh gale weathers and uh scream six so let's get to it so we know like i said if you guys watch scream 2022 on uh, scream 5 we know that that gale is going to be uh writing a book about dewey um so that brings the question like is she gonna live through the movie is she gonna die within the movie and to be honest with you guys i think she's gonna live i just don't see them like okay maybe if like if gail weathers let's just say that she or Courtney Cox. Let's just say that she went to the uh, directors and told them that she wants to be killed off because do you know because Dewey got killed off or David Arquette. So if she said that, then I think there is a higher chance for her to get killed off. Um, because if you guys know, um, if you guys know in Scream Four she wanted to be killed off. So we know that's not a uh we know that she said that in the past but the question is what she you know what kind of role is she gonna have and let me tell you like what i think um i honestly think she's gonna be the main girl not like the main main girl not the main folk like the main main girl but she's gonna be like like she's gonna have more like they're gonna focus more on her basically in this movie because number one she lost her best she lost her husband slash you know best friend and she's gonna write a book about him so that raises questions like okay well people always wonder if she does die how how would she go out and I have to be perfectly honest with you. I have no idea, man. I've been trying to think about it too. Like, if she does end up like dying, um, because I know, I know eventually they're gonna have to do it. I mean, they did it with Dewey already, you know, and they're gonna have to eventually do it to Gail, um, unless they give Gail a happy ending. But I don't think they will. I think they will like kill her and possibly scream seven. Because that would be like the trilogy, like the trilogy. So, um, now, as opposed to her, like dying in this film, she's not gonna die in this film. I don't think she's just gonna have a bigger role. And her and Sydney, like I said, we don't even know if Nev is gonna be in the film. Oh, uh, she hasn't said anything yet, so. We have no idea. Uh, sorry, guys. We have no idea um, what's going to happen. Is she going to be in the movie? Is she going to be, you know, not going to be in the movie? Everybody's raising questions like nobody knows. And that's just the thing. Gail Weathers will be in the movie, and we know that she's writing a book. And you know what I think would actually be pretty damn cool? Is if Gail Weathers actually like i said got her first phone call i always said that uh if you guys watched my previous videos i said that it would be so cool she finally got her first phone call uh by goat's face because she's never got a phone call if you guys remember she's never had that phone call with ghost face and all the other movies like ever this would be like the first time like so I think what would be cool is, like, since it's going to be in Canada, let's just say she's at a live show. And she's doing her show or whatever that she does. And she gets a phone call. Like, she get, she gets, like, callers. Like, on the, she, like, has callers, like, you know, like a Q&A kind of thing. She, they're all asking her questions. All of a sudden, she's, like, next line. And all of a sudden, she hears Ghostface's voice. On live TV, dude. On live TV. Imagine that. I would actually love that a lot. Um, 
I always mentioned that I would always love like because that's something different because she's never got a phone call by Ghostface ever throughout the screen franchise <laughs> so I think it'd be you know great um not dying obviously but you know obviously surviving but just getting a phone call just talking to him you know talking to you know Ghostface you know on live television like that would just be epic and I think that's something that could happen especially since you know the movie's gonna be in Canada we know Canada is a pretty big town uh Montreal you know they got pretty big buildings and all that too so um so we don't know man but that would be pretty cool that could be you know they could do something like that because I want something new as I said Scream 5 you know it was okay like I liked it but I didn't hate it like as I said um but there was a lot of things I didn't like you know what I mean so like I said there needs to be new changes just new all around everything a new like setting we don't need like a house you know we don't need Gail to be in a house and all that stuff you know we don't want that we want something like like I said live you know on live TV she gets a phone call from Ghostface you know while she's doing her TV show something like that would be better than having her be in a house because you, let me tell you why because being in a house it's the same thing I mean we got the same thing at every like the other screen movies it's like a new generation now and everybody wants to see new stuff you know and we don't need to have her be in the house and get a phone call by Ghostface um so that's all we know so, uh that's just my thoughts and my theory what I want to happen what I what would be cool cause just imagine man a Gail got her first like like talking to Ghostface guys come on man that would be so epic especially like on live TV like I said on her TV show like just imagine that I mean that's just epic but we know she's writing a book about Dewey um and it raises questions are they gonna have a funeral for Dewey in this film um you know I don't really think it makes sense at this point uh, if they're going to have like a funeral scene or anything. I don't think it makes sense. Because if they were going to have a funeral scene for Dewey. They should have did it in Scream 5. You know. Like right after he. You know they should have did it in Scream 5. And instead of waiting you know. So I don't know if they. Would go that route. Like have a funeral for him at this point. Because. He died you know Scream 5 you know. He died in that film and. I kind of, I don't know, it just wouldn't make any sense because it's too far. It would have been a long time ago when he died. Like, it would have been way, like, way too late at that point. So, but if Gail dies, I think they should definitely have a funeral scene for her. Um, maybe she gets buried by Dewey or maybe we see Dewey's grave Um, in Scream 6, you know, maybe... We see scenes, maybe Gail goes to his grave and all that, and visits him and all that. So, I I don't rule that out. Gail going to his grave, but as a fo as opposed of uh for a, like a funeral or anything, I don't think she's. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be a, like a funeral for him because they should have did that in Screen Five, as I said. Um. Um. But as opposed to, like, Gail, if she dies, which I know she's not going to die in this film. I already know she's just not. Uh, a lot of people said there's a high chances. You know, I'd be really shocked if they did. I guess for shock value, I guess you could. But at the same time, I kind of want her to live on until Scream 7, at least. You know? And write her book and have a happy, you know, ending in this film, too. You know, and and then eventually in Scream 7, if, she, if you think about, you know, they could do it then, you know. They could say, hey, we're just going to 
you know, kill you off. And, but give her some input for once, you know? Like, don't do her like you did Dewey. You know? You gotta give her respect. You know? And get, ask her her input about it. You know? I mean... So... Anyways, guys, that's the video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, this is Ghostface Fanatic. Guys, comment down below. Uh, give me you guys' thoughts on that. About what, what kind of role you think Gail Weathers will have in this film. And, yeah, let me know. Peace out, guys.